okay good evening students so i am going to take uh, uh, that is instructions arithmetic instruction today's class so we'll go to the presentation okay so arithmetic instructions you know that arithmetic instructions are nothing but um, to perform arithmetic operations we can use this arithmetic uh, that is arithmetic instructions so what are the arithmetic instructions we have no hmm, addition subtraction increment decrement all these comes under arithmetic instructions so addition addition of these things we have multiplication and division also so basically four arithmetic operations are there addition subtraction multiplication division in that addition and addition we have increment also in subtraction we have decrement so uh, in addition to these we have multiplication and division also so these are all the uh, six that is we can say it is six uh, multiplication and division also there so we can say it is six operations are there okay so first we will go with addition operation so what is the syntax used for addition operation is add destination comma source destination comma source so what it means now so the source is going to be added with your destination the result is again going to be stored in the destination itself so in this we already know that the source may be uh, those so source and destination may be any of the register or memory locations but both should not be a memory location as well as your source may be any it may be the it, it, it can directly given or immediately the immediate data or it may be in the registers or um, indirectly it may be given in any of the offset registers so uh, the source may be any of the things it's based on your addressing mode that will be differ okay so anyway we have to find out the value of the source that value of the source is going to be added with the destination so the result is going to be stored in the destination so this is the basic uh, information about addition so then uh, op code used for this one is add destination comma source this is a syntax of your addition okay so in the given example uh, add ax comma 2020h it is a you know that it is 2020h uh, is nothing but immediate data so this uh, 2020h is going to be added with the accumulator content and the result is going to be stored in the accumulator itself okay same way your uh, bx bx is some register content so bx is some register content it is register addressing mode so this value of bx whatever content is in vx that's going to be moved to ax okay sorry uh, that's going to be added with ax and the result is going to be moved to ax again it repeated so your source is bx and your destination is ax you may get some question where is my one more ready uh, one more operator so one more operator is ax so you have um that is uh your so one value is in bx and another value is in ax both are going to be added and the result is going to be stored in ax okay so some example we'll see so before execution uh, my data value my sorry before execution my accumulator value is so the previous example i'm going to add 2020 with accumulator so same thing here also my accumulator content is 1010 so what happens the 1010 is going to be added with 2020 which is going to give you 3030 okay so my accumulator content after execution my accumulator content is 3030 after execution my accumulator content is 3030 so the uh, so we know that it is a destination so uh, my uh, uh, the result is going to be stored in the destination so the after the execution the result is 3030 is going to be stored in accumulator so come to the next example so here i am having both the both are registers ax and bx are both are general purpose registers i have the values in the registers 
so my source is a register so which contains 2020 and my accumulator contains 1010 so both are going to be added both are going to be added the result is 3030 which is going to be stored in the accumulator at last so listen uh, here the so source content will not be affected only the destination is going to be affected which is my result is 3030 is going to be stored so this is about the addition uh, so the opcode used for addition is add which is an opcode and you need two operand operand one and operand two which is nothing but so uh, destination and then source so the source and destination values are added and then the result is going to be stored in the same destination okay uh, then we'll go to the addition of uh, carry addition with carry so which means so listen uh, it's nothing but addition with carry so it's basic of it's same as addition but one thing is you are going to add the you have to check it out the carry flag if the carry flag is one so that's going to be also added with your result else if it is zero you can simply put uh, simply display or simply uh, store the whatever result you got okay so that is called as um, so that is called as add with carry um, okay the same procedure you have to follow the uh, follow like addition and that means a simple addition so in this case listen add c a x comma 2020 and a add c it's same as immediate and uh, register addressing mode so we'll see what happens so that's uh, go, go with some example okay there is no example on so same thing uh, same thing you are going to take the carry flag you have to check it out the carry flag in a carry flag also uh, that is it's a so what happened Nabina? Uh, simply we can say some exam with some example so here which is nothing but my ax what is this uh, instruction will tell you now ax equal to or ax is whatever content is at loss going to be stored as ax content plus your uh, immediate data which is 2020h both are going to be added with your carry value that is cf cf flag value so the these results will be stored in the accumulator so listen i again will tell you that is your so your source source value is 2020h but uh, destination one more operant value is available in the accumulator so for example that is 1010 so like previous case 1010 so it is going to produce 3030 so you're going to add add the if it you have to check it out the carry flag so you have to check the carry flag if the carry flag is reset that means it's not enabled then it is called as zero so it is going to give you the same result which is nothing but zero 3030 h okay 3030h so if the carry flag is equal to 1 it's enabled then it is going to be called as it is uh, it is nothing but 30301 so you are going to add with the carry your number is that is your result is going to be taken with carry so which is so it this is without uh, adding the carry this is with adding the carry okay so that is the uh, difference between simple add and uh, add with carry okay adc is nothing but uh, add, that is uh, addition with carry okay just to go through this uh, points So that is it. Uh, source operand plus destination. Uh, source operand plus destination operand plus carry content. Carry flag bit. The carry flag bit is zero. The same result as whatever the source and the destination added. The same result is going to be stored in the uh, destination. If the carry flag is one, the one more one is going to be added with your result. So that is a simple thing about uh, add with carry. Then we'll go to increment. It is also one of the operation of addition, which is nothing but whatever you have on the source part, whatever you have on the source part, that's going to be incremented by one. For example, listen, in this, my 
ax value is 1010h then what about this increment of uh, ax is which is nothing but 1011 because i just incremented which is nothing but incrementing is nothing but you already know that incremented by 1 so 1010 10 plus 1 which is nothing but 1011 okay so same thing here it is a uh, uh, direct addressing mode i have to find out the physical address for this offset so offset is given i have to find out the physical address for this physical address for this so uh, after finding out the physical address whatever i am having in that physical address location which is going to be incremented in case my uh, here it is a direct addressing so i have to refer ds regist, uh, segment register so in case it is um, it is equal to 1000 so which is nothing but 1000 10000 or 15000 so my physical address becomes already it is 1000 1000 into 10 10000 10, 10000 plus 5000 which is nothing but 15000 so every i think everyone familiar on this um 15000 which is my physical address okay 15000 which is my physical address so whatever content i am having in this location in the memory it is my memory location whatever i am having in this location i have to fetch that data and which is going to be incremented by 1 which is going to be incremented by 1 so that is the use of increment okay so just incrementing like, like uh, you are giving i plus plus which is nothing but i plus 1 so same case here the increment is nothing but just you are incrementing plus 1 okay with your data okay so after um, completion incremented it's going to be stored in the same place because the same variable or same data is going to be incremented so it is never going to be moved to any other destination where you are going to do the incremento there itself it's going the result is going to be stored okay so uh, these points you have to keep it in your mind that means the result is stored in the same place okay so this is an example